Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, KGFL Creations. This is going to be another episode of Hashtag Friday Sews, and also I am going to add Hashtag Festive Friday Sews, which was created by Rachel from the French Seams. It's for the holiday season. So we are all in the holiday mood. I have my green lights in the background. I have my little Christmas tree here on the corner with the little lights going. I don't know if you guys can see because the lights are very, very tiny. Yeah, but I am already in the Christmas mood. I wanted to give you an update on the dress that I'm making for the Christmas dinner party. The dress is going along fine. I am almost done. I'm actually looking at it. It's hanging right there and it's looking so, so pretty. All I have to do now is add the sleeves. The sleeves are ready. I have to just add the sleeves and hem it. It's not hemmed yet. And add all the little buttons up front. I remember I told you guys that I had some trouble doing the rouleau loops for the muslin, but the problem I had with the uh, muslin, it was the fabric. The fabric was not helping me with that muslin. It was just a cheap polyester that I was using, something that I purchased from uh, Walmart. But the fabric for the dress, it's a charmeuse that I purchased from Joann's and it's much softer than that. So I did cut, I, the first thing I did was to make the, uh, the little ruler loops and I was able to turn it, no problem. Everything turned and it was just no problem at all. So I was happy with that. I was worried about that because the dress, the main feature to me is all the little ruler loops here up front. So that was good. I was able to do that. So other than that, I did go to Joann's uh, on the weekend. It was, I think it was Friday or Saturday, no, Saturday afternoon. I went to Joann's because I needed to look for the buttons for the dress. I found a couple of buttons for the dress, but I also found this little thing here. This is a craft cover button kit this little thing right here. So I'm gonna try this out first because the buttons that I purchased, they are a little bit smaller and the color doesn't match as much. So I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna cut fabric and make the little uh, buttons using the fabric and uh, so I can put it to the dress. I, I'm hoping that this is going to work fine. It comes with a little uh, contraption so you can press or something. I've never used this before, but uh, yeah, so I bought two little packages of this because I need a lot of buttons. I think the uh, dress calls for, I think they call for 21 buttons, but that's because you have to put buttons here on the sleeves, on the long sleeve. I am not doing the long sleeve. I am doing the short sleeve, but I did come up here a little bit. So I added, I think two more buttons up here because the uh, pattern called for only three buttons here. But to me, it was a bit too low, so I am doing a little bit more buttons. So I bought two of these little things here. This one here comes with 18 shank uh, buttons. So that's what I'll be using for that. And hopefully it, it should work and it should be fine with the uh, fabric. So that's that. Uh, Saturday, we had a sale from Joann's going on. It was the simplicity that was happening, so I ended up buying some stuff. Let's go first through the garments. This is S9325. It's a dress here. I saw Natita from So Natural Dane. I think that's the name of her channel. If it's not correct, I'll put a note. Um, below um, she made this dress it was really really pretty also another lady that I saw making this dress was Diane from the wandering sewist she also made this pattern here and it came out really really pretty so I decided to buy this one $1.99 so that was a good price I also purchased s8914 which is this dress here it has a nice and pretty dress so I got this one here uh, next one is 1586. It's uh, simplicity. It says amazing fit. So I'm hoping that it is an amazing fit. So it is this pattern right here. 
some um, other patterns that I was looking for, I wrote down a bunch of them. I usually write down or I take pictures of the book of what I want to um, buy. And then you get to the drawer and there's nothing there. So that happened um, last Saturday. And so next one that I purchased is this one here. It's something to carry um, your um, glass containers when you go into a party or something. Last uh, Thanksgiving day, I usually have Thanksgiving here at my house. So this year we tried, my sister wanted to do it at her place. So I had to cook some stuff. She cooked over there and I cooked here. But when it was time to take it over, I had nothing to carry it. You know, my um, Pyrex and uh, you know, whatever it is that I was carrying, the meat that I, was, that I made, everything. So I decided to purchase this one here. I'm going to make this right here. So next time that I have to carry food around, I will have something to put it in and carry. So that, so I thought that's, this was very, very interesting. Another one that I thought it was really, really cute. It's a S9437. It's for Christmas. It has a, a skirt, a tree skirt. It has pillows. It has some chair covers there um, and stockings too. So I don't think I'll be able to make any of these uh, this year, but for next year. And also there's this cute little tree right here in the middle. So this is what really caught my attention. So I think I'm going to do that, but I have to look at the pattern and see how hard that will be. And the last one that I got is Simplicity 8822. It is to for the sewing machines. It's a base for the sewing machine. Put the sewing machine on top. And I'm looking for something to make for my serger because I have to move my serger back and forth every time. And it kind of gets stuck here on my um, top because this is a plywood top here painted and it kind of get it scuffed a little bit so i want to make something like that and perhaps a cover for my other machine my uh, the singer that i've been using and also my other little machine that i'm going to leave it out but i don't want it to get uh, dusty and so i might make one of those my old um, machine my canmore that i got from the attic if you guys watched the other video so that is what I purchased from Joann's last Saturday. It was one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I showed it to my husband what I purchased. And he's like, you stay there for such a long time and that's all you came home with? Because <laughs> I did stay there for more than an hour, I think it was. So that was, that was something. Another thing that I purchased, this I purchased online. I purchased from By Annie's. I want to make these things. I'm gonna take it out of the little baggie because of the reflection here. This is the Catch All Caddy 2.0. I think this is the one that Adam Sews makes. This is so pretty, so I wanna make this so I can use here in the sewing room because the little baggie that I have, it is full and everything is just thrown in there. There's no little compartments uh, so I can put stuff in. So this will be interesting. So I purchased this. This was like, uh, I think it was $9.95. And I thought it was going to be a PDF, but no. She, it's a physical little pattern with the little package, with the little plastic pouch and everything. So this is interesting. All the instructions are here. And uh, yeah, so this is Catch All Caddy 2.0 from by Annie's. And the other one that I got, it was at the same time, they came together in a little package. It's the Executive Carry All 2. And I wanna make this little guy here first to put the computer, if I can, if I have to take my computer somewhere, I will have this one, because I have a new computer my daughter purchased for me for my birthday. And this one here, it's a little bit bigger um, carry all, but this will be for travel on an airplane when I have to go 
um, somewhere I can take my computer with me um, another thing that I purchased from Amazon I purchased two things from Amazon I was watching Zelda from Zelda sews and she was talking about a new rotary cutter and I wanted to get one so I got this one here it's a Kai don't know if I'm saying that correctly it's K-A-I so to me it's Kai little rotary cutter this was like $16 and change so I'm gonna test this one and see if I like it because my old one I'm pretty sure this one will be much much better than my old one my old one is really yeah it's not that good so this one if I like it then I need to buy more blades for this and also I purchased a dressmaking shear also same brand Kai and this one is nice and soft. I can see the difference just by opening. I didn't even take it off the uh, little um, paper here, but it's nice and soft. Just just doing this, it's just like, ah, oh, so, so nice. So this will be good. They had bigger ones, much bigger ones, but I prefer something smaller. I don't, I'm not crazy about the bigger, um, big scissors. So that's all that I have purchased this week. And, uh, yeah, spent a little bit of money, but not much. So what's going on with life? I have been watching a, a lot, a lot, a lot of YouTube videos. I even have my little um, notebook here so I can um, read whatever I wrote here. I've been watching a lot of the Vlogmas from 2023. I've been having a lot of fun doing that. Um, there's a lot of people opening the uh, advent calendars. I've never purchased an advent calendar. So maybe next year I'll get into that. I'll do um, advent calendar. Or maybe I can get my daughter into that and my husband too. So I've been watching a lot, a lot of ladies out there. There's a lot of vlogmas going on. So I just wrote all of the ladies. I had to go back through my um, YouTube history so I can just jot down everything that I've been doing. So I've been watching uh, Dizzy Quilts and Sews. Uh, Izzy, she has been putting up a video every single day. So I've been having fun watching her videos and watching her little cat bear. He reminds me of my uh, cat Midnight, the cat that um, I lost him a couple of months back. So I had to put him to sleep. He was almost 18 years old. He was completely black, just like bear. So I like to watch that little bear um i've been also watching the yorkshire yorkshire so girl Ru ruan i think that's her name and also uh stitched up i've been watching her she stopped a little bit putting a couple of videos in there but she's back and going so that's good also i've been watching nancy from uh running with scissors she had shoulder surgery last week and uh, she's back doing her videos and she has a little contraption her shoulder is all like you know like this but she's going she's doing well so i'm glad to see that i'm also watching michelle from uh, sewing bunny uh she has two kitties she has um misty and um what's the name of her other cat um my gosh, I forgot the name of the cat. Um, but I like watching her, um, the little kitties. The intro of her video shows the little, um, the two cats, they're adorable. And I do like cats, so I like watching that. I am also watching Christine from Gemini Stitches. She is doing a roundup of the um, pricing roundup for, I think it's the um, Godmother something i forgot the name of it people were complaining last year about the pricing that it was too high of a price and the um everything that was in the calendar the advent calendar was not worth the price that they paid so this year she's doing a little um bit of uh pricing adding up i think it's fabric godmother i think that's the name of the um advent calendar so i've been watching that i've been also watching christine sews a lot she's been doing um videos there also, Polly Sews. And last but not least, uh, Sequin Girly Creates. She came up, I don't know if she was the only one. I think she, um, Sam and Agatha from Agatha's, um, Agatha's Cottage. Yes, that's her name. That's her channel name. They came up with the idea 
of instead of doing one person um, doing vlogmas every single day a different uh, channel will do a vlogmas and they're all different they can do whatever they want because vlogmas is not easy you have to record every day you were doing a bunch of stuff every day and you have to edit every day and you have to post every day I don't know I really don't know how they do it it to me is just like crazy my hat goes out to you ladies that are doing this but I'm having a lot of fun watching all of you guys so that's pretty much it for today so thank you for sticking with me until the end of this video I hope you have a great weekend and a great week ahead I'll see you guys on the next video bye